Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise and I've been shopping. We have some packages to go through and share with you of some of the things that I've bought recently for planning and um, just kind of some different systems. So I have two sticker books from Mojo Jojo Plans. I have two boxes from Cloth and Paper and a nice big box from Planner Kate. So if you're interested to see what I picked up, keep watching. I have, of course, right in front of me, a cloth and paper box. Haven't even opened it. I'm just trying to be cautious of not showing my address because I ordered a couple things last week that I want to set up today. But in the meantime, I realized that there are some other things that I'm going to need to finalize this. So I've placed an additional order. So I think what I'm going to do is film this part now and then wait for the rest to come in, add the clips together, and then you'll see the video. So I don't even know why I'm explaining it because it's not like you're gonna see half now and then stay tuned on my channel for the other half. It's all gonna be together. Okay, here is a purchase thank you card. And since we cannot change reality, this is gonna, I'm gonna struggle with this. Ah, since we cannot change reality, let us change the eyes which see reality. Cool, that's neat. Okay, so I have kind of jumped on the bandwagon of half letter sized planners. Now, there are things I use a half letter for, and let me explain because I have it here. A half letter is this is the Notique one that I use for work. I just keep work notes in it, um, so I'm not going to open it, but is eight discs. So it's right in between a mini and a classic size. I have the Notique paper in here, and then I also have some other filler dot grid paper in here. And I also have a Levenger planner um, or Levenger notebook. This is their, I don't remember the name. I want to say ARC, but that's not ARC. That's another brand. I can't remember the name of this. I did this collaboration. Oh, wait, with Levenger last year. Circa, that's the name. Okay, so this is their um, disc bound system. And I'm going to be putting this together. So as I'm putting it together, um, I also have this is a financial wellness workbook from Fancy Plans Co. It was a subscription. Um, but I like the clear discs that are on it. So I'm going to kind of take this apart and put it together while I talk to you about my reasoning for another planner. <laughs> Does anyone need another planner? Probably not. Did I get one? I did. So part of what I find when it comes to my planning each day is that I have several planners I'm using and I'm not giving any of them up. They're all meaningful to me in like, not meaningful. I mean, they are, but they're all useful to me in certain ways. So usually the easiest is putting these on together, but this isn't that easy. Okay. They're all useful to me in different ways, right? Whether my business planner has my social media and videos to film and things to do for my Etsy shop and Patreon and all of that. And my personal planner has my schedule and goals and bills to, or my budget planner has bills to pay. Like they all have different things. And they're gonna stay that way. However, sometimes I just need to get everything down that's in my brain to calm my brain down a little bit. And a daily is the way that I think I'm going to do that. So getting back to cloth and paper. This is like a thick stack. I've never ordered a full year of daily inserts before. So I think that my plan will be filling in my daily and then transferring things where they need to go, maybe. Or putting things where they need to go in terms of like my dashboard has the videos to film and all of that kind of stuff while my, then I'll move it in. I don't entirely know yet. I know that I think it's gonna work. I know that I think it'll work, but we're gonna see. Okay, what I'm actually going to do, even though these are 2023, dated inserts. I'm going to start with October because we are in October. And this is a set of dividers that I picked up from cloth and paper as well. So we're going to put October, November, December in here. And then let's just for kicks 
due January and February. So maybe this will be six months because as each month passes, of course, I'll be able to take them out. And I got the dividers because these are just the inserts. So we have, okay, so let me kind of do a little unboxing. So day to daily, this planner belongs to year at a glance, holidays and observances. And then we have January. So I'll put these right over here. This isn't going to be like a fancy setup like I've seen some others do because I don't know that I use all the extra fancy <laughs> pages in my planner, but um, I thought you might want to hang out with me while I kind of do what I have planned here. Okay, so I thought, I guess I ordered differently than I thought. Let me see. I thought that, okay, so I lost a big chunk of that part of the video. So I did set this up with October, November, December, and then January, February, and March. So when I was earlier in the video, let me move this over, saying I thought, I thought I had ordered different daily inserts, but I guess I didn't, which is fine too, because these are, these are good ones. So in the meantime, I had a second box. And just in case this video is confusing, this video is originally just going to be an entire half letter setup video, but then I've gotten some more purchases recently and I decided to switch gears and that it was going to now be a what I bought and half letter sort of all in one kind of video. So um, I have another order from Cloth and Paper that I placed, I think after I started filming this, because this was actually filmed, um, this part was filmed separately. It was kind of like a film ahead sort of situation. So some cards in there and then I got a pen, which I don't think I've ever ordered from cloth and paper, but I was also getting close to free shipping and I felt like it made sense to throw in a pen. Okay. And then let's see what we have here. I got like a decent amount of stuff. Okay. Let's, let's figure this out. So I'm going to open this back up to October because we are currently in October and these are undated daily and the schedule style. So these are different than the ones that I bought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is a month's worth. I think that if I was looking at the website closely. I probably should have ordered a few of these, but you know what? It's a month's worth, but we have less than a month left of October. Um, so these will carry me through. And then if I'm starting to realize that they're really working for me and I want to get more, I can always get more. I will say I like this schedule. I like this setup, I think better than the dated ones that I got, but I also have to remind myself that I'm not always going to need a full day. So this half day thing is probably going to work well for me. So we have this in here and now I'm ready to kind of start my work day by just having one of these open on my desk next to my computer. The next thing I bought were these weekly admin pages. And let's see, I feel like I need well, I could put them here. We could do it like have the week there and it's so it's the date or starting date and date of the week. And then the days of the week and next week I like tasks and habits and focus. So I'm very into habit tracking right now. So I think that would be good. And then we'd have, oh, this won't really work the way I was thinking. Cause I was thinking I could do these after each week, but it won't really work that way because of the way that these are laid out double-sided. So instead, we can maybe put these here. I'll have to figure out that whole part. This is just kind of something to play around with and see how it goes. So I like this with the clear discs. I'm really liking that aesthetic. 
And then I'll show you the other things that I purchased. So this is now ready for me to use today. So that's going to go hang out next to my laptop because I start work shortly. Okay. I bought a, a cleaning and chores paper pad. Oh wait, we have to test out this pen too. Okay. We'll get there. All right. So I really like this because I'm working on this cleaning schedule, if you saw my goal setting video. So I like that I can write the week of here, put my daily chores in, and then the different areas of the home. So there are certain things I'm going to do each day. Um, what are things I do each day? It's really like making sure that everything that is around, like for example, all these supplies for this video are going to be put away and my office is clean and like my nightstand is clear and just kind of the things that tend to gather clutter throughout the day. And then over here, so like Monday, let's say would be my kitchen. So it can be like floors, countertops, take out garbage, like clean sink and um, like empty refrigerator, something like that. So I can write each area of my home and then the different things that I want to do there. So there's a nice big block pad. Let's, this is a jet stream pen. Let's test this, but I don't want to test it on here. We're going to test it here. Jet stream, a uni jet stream, and it's 0.38, which if I like this, this is actually perfect because my Sharpie S gel 0.38s are acting a little funny today. I don't know what's going on. So, mm, jet stream. 0.38. That's a little sloppy. I love 0.38s because I like how fine they are, but they also tend to skip a lot. And it looks like this might not be an exception. It's not skipping terribly. It might really just be about me putting more pressure on it. But it's definitely not as smooth. It's a little gritty, which I also don't hate that it's a little gritty because it helps me not slip. But it does smear pretty quickly. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're still we're still smearing. So it's a pen I'll use, but it's not probably a pen that I would say, like, you have to get this pen. Okay, next up is actually not sized for a half letter. This is for my happy planner. And I'll be sharing more about these in the coming months when I'm doing my setup for 2023. But these are top tab sheets. So let's show you here. Oh, kind of like this. <laughs> this is, I think, a cloth and paper one too. Um, but these will just pop in this way and I'll be able to separate things in my planner and it'll go all the way across here because it's sized for a classic happy planner. All right, we have some more things to flip through and unbox and share with you. So let's scoot these over and keep going. Okay, now I have two sticker books from Mojo Jojo Plans. Date It um, came out last year, but this one has the title at the top. Um, I think this is the same one as last year. It looks to be the exact same one as last year. So um, I already have it. This is a backup one because I use it a decent amount. So we'll just kind of do like a quick flip here. And I know that others have shared this. So I like that it's a combination of paper and clear stickers. And then we have the rainbow one. And while I don't do rainbow a lot, I really liked the new design of this sticker book and the fact that I could use the colors um, throughout other spreads. So there are a couple of stickers up here that I've actually already used and I'll explain those shortly. So I like these big numbers. These are in clear in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink and gray. When there's like a brown too and a black. And then we have these are paper in red and then a clear red paper orange and a clear orange, paper yellow and a clear yellow, paper green, and you guessed it, a clear green, <laughs> paper blue, clear blue, paper purple, clear purple, paper pink, clear pink, 
And again, the same in gray. Oh, gray is both. Oh, wait, interesting. I don't know if this is an error in my book or all books, but I got two gray paper pages. But again, I don't know if this is the case in all books or not, or just mine. Um, so don't buy it thinking that you might definitely get a second one because that just could be me lucking out this time in gray. <laughs> then we have brown in paper and clear and black in paper and clear. I love these. So we have paper in all the different colors in full words Monday and Mon Tuesday and twos. Okay, so because of how much JoJo fit in this book, it's not all going to be like right next to each other because she fits so many different things on the page. So these are all in paper and we also have these colons here and in clear and then bigger ones in days of the week in paper and clear and some more. Like there's just so many stickers in here. And I like that you can use them really for any spread. So I pulled out these one, two, three, because I can't show it to you because it's already out of my apartment, but I did a Patreon spread on Zoom the other day or last week where on the left side toolbar, you know how in the bottom of the spread, it says this week's, you know what, let me just pull out a blank one because I'm like just trying to describe it and it's not working. So I took this week's list and I took one, two, and three, and I put the stickers right here kind of as a priority. So a little bit different than a normal way to use date stickers, but um, just another idea. So we have these in the rainbow colors as well. And these are now clear paper and clear and the months of the year. So I think this will definitely last more than one year. There are a ton of stickers in this book. It's a little bit pricier because there's so many pages, but I think it's worth it because it's one of these basic sticker books that um, really will always work. And then we have the tiny date dots. So these are gonna be really good for your monthly. If you have an undated planner, these will be perfect for that. So we have red and orange yellow and green, blue and purple, pink and gray, brown and black. So this is the rainbow dated book. I just popped this off a little bit, I think. Sorry, we are shaking. Oh, I think I may have broken the book, but we're okay. We're, it's okay. <laughs> Everything's good. So that is the rainbow dated and the original date it. This one has more stickers actually. It is a little, this one's a little bit more expensive than this one. I don't remember. I think it might be like a $2 difference. And I wasn't sure. I didn't realize that there were more stickers, probably more pages because it is feeling thicker when I line them up here. Um, or the fact that maybe it costs more to print in color than it does in black and white through the manufacturer. So this one is a little bit pricier, but I think I bought these as a bundle. Yeah. Okay. We have, I believe, one more package to share. Okay. And now for the final item, I believe, <laughs> and maybe the biggest item. Actually, here's another one. So I had bought this slice. I should have, that wasn't, okay. Um, it's a slice cutter. So instead of my normal knife that I pull off, we have this cutter that you can slice. I, I tested it with a sticker when I first got it, but right now I'm just going to use this to open this box. So this is a box from Planner Kate, which is a shop I've really been enjoying. And this is the first time I've bought a package big enough to fit in a box, I think, and not just in a nice envelope. So there was a sale that I recently purchased. I'm just trying to get my shipping info out of here. Okay, there we go. And off camera and not on the internet for all to see. It's like opening a present. Part of the reason that it's so big is because there are, I don't know that this is actually the biggest sticker order I've placed, but I did get binders in here. So we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Maybe we'll start with the binders. I got two because I see myself possibly running out. So if you've seen me pull out Planner Kate stickers before, I'm trying to figure out how to open this, you will have seen this binder before. 
it's a really great way to store her stickers. And these white binders are actually on sale, I think still on her website. I don't know if they're being discontinued, but I know that many people prefer the more decorative cover binders. I like these, they just sit on my bookshelf and I like that they're really clean. And because they're different sizes than anything else I have for sticker storage, I know that they're planner cake. I mean, they have that. This isn't a label. This is printed on there, but I really like these. So I bought two of them just to have one in the future in case they discontinue. So let me share with you the sticker pages that I bought. Maybe these actually weren't a sale. Maybe this was just the new release because I'm pretty sure I bought it on Thursday and her sales are typically Wednesday for Warehouse Wednesday sales. So there's a Planner Kate sticker. There is a business card. And then these were the freebies that were included. So we have these little corners, date, uh, times, weather, little boxes, um, different things for school. I think these may have been the same freebies that came in my last order. And then these are some big sheets. Okay. So I'm actually now realizing that I didn't buy the right size storage for these, but that's okay. I have another idea for these sheets. But first up, we have this. So what you'll always want to do when looking at Planner Kate stickers is note up here. So S1841C and font C. I thought that these would be really fun because I could color in the letters to match whatever spread I'm doing. So I was really excited about these or color in the the letters and the numbers. And then these were a bunch of new release stickers that I got. So even though I have a book tracker that I've made myself, I did also buy this books to read page. I thought it was really fun. And there's like a few different kind of ones. So we have books to read, TV shows to watch, and these are big stickers. These are sized seven by nine. So I know that over here I have a happy planner page. So this would, once the border's off, this would cover an entire page in your happy planner, but not the spine. So you could use notes paper to take off this sticker and put it there, and then you just have the page done if, as you're setting up next year's planner, you want to include those types of things. So books to read. TV shows to watch, and movies to watch. These are just one long, big sticker. So I think they'll be so much fun to include in next year's planner. And then we have a year in pixels. So the months of the year, one through 31, and then you'll color code. So let's say yellow is a day that you are happy. If you wanted to use it as a mood tracker, you'd put yellow here and write happy. I might use this as a reading tracker. So like finished a book, didn't read. I don't know. I'm not I'm not entirely sure yet, but I know it was something that I wanted to kind of play around with. Then we have currently, which I thought would be really fun to try out. This is STK 110. So currently watching, loving, listening, reading buying, celebrating, eating, thinking, wearing, feeling, going, improving. And I thought this could be fun for either my January or December currently, but almost like not just for December, but for the year. I thought maybe I could make a page in my planner of using these from the year, which might be like going. So going this year, I went to California. Texas twice, Rhode Island, Boston, and I'm going to Florida soon. So it could be something like that. Different things to celebrate this year. I don't I don't necessarily know yet. Reading, I could write my total books read. So I'm thinking as a year overview page. And then I also bought two of these. This is the same page and this is STK 101. And this is kind of a vision board page, or you don't have to use it for a vision board. You could use it for anything, but I thought that this might be a really fun way to kind of set up next year in my planner. So I wanted to buy two of the sheets. So like I mentioned, this was a decent amount of Happy Mail. What did we have? We had a couple of 
cloth and paper orders. We had Mojo Jojo plan stickers and we had a decent size planner Kate order. Um, these were all filmed kind of separately because things came on different days and I wanted to start putting away and using the items and not just having the boxes stack up. Um, planner Kate, you can always save using code PKLOVE20. I know that there are uh, some with affiliate links, so I don't have one. I'm trying to think of who at a glance, but I think you can probably go to Instagram and see who's sharing Planner Kate and be able to use one of those. I don't think there's a discount code for Mojo Jojo. Cloth and paper, no discount or affiliate, but sometimes when you go to their website, you can sign up for texts and get 15% off. So that's what I did for my orders. So I don't have any like at least 10 or at least 20 kind of things for you. But um, those are just some ways that you can save. And also Planner Kate, always look out for Wednesdays and subscribe to her emails because on Tuesdays you'll get a preview of what the Wednesday sale is going to look like. And you can do a little bit of early previewing and window shopping. So that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed sharing things with you and I am now back to my no spend. So <laughs> wishing everyone a wonderful day. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time.